welcome back to Meteorology Monday. I have a special guest with me today. Ta-da! Today I have with me... Kara! Today I'm going to be quizzing her on some meteorology definitions. So I'm going to start off pretty easy with some introduction to meteorology questions. Now these are college level, what do you think about that? Um... I think this is one of the questions. <laughs> you think that's one of the questions? Yes. Yeah. So right here I have my first test from Introduction to Meteorology. And let's see what question we want. Question number one. A cold front is which color on a surface map? Red, blue, or purple? Well, this is a cold front that's blue. Good job. She's correct. <laughs> All right. Second question. Which color is a warm front? on a surface map. <laughs> Don't look at it! She's cheating! Don't look! Red, of course hot. Red? Okay. She's right on that one too. I'm right on that one too. Alright, we're gonna get a little bit harder with question oh. number three. <laughs> Winds around a surface low pressure system in the northern hemisphere circulates in a clockwise or counterclockwise motion. Uh, clockwise? Clockwise? She's wrong! <laughs> it's counterclockwise. The outermost layer of the Earth's atmosphere is the troposphere, the stratosphere, the mesosphere, or the thermosphere. What do you think? Did you make those up? I did not make these up. These are actual atmospheric science questions. Then they are super smart because they are so hard. Is it the second one? The second one? Second one. Do you think it's the stratosphere? Mm -hmm. Not the stratosphere. The mesosphere? No, <gasps> it's the thermosphere. Ah! Have you heard of the thermosphere before? Nope. <laughs> it will go a little bit easier. Which layer in the atmosphere does most of the world's weather occur in? The troposphere or the stratosphere? Obvious. Stratosphere. Not so obvious. The troposphere. Dang it! <laughs> Getting harder each time. My next question, Miss Kara, Ooh. is surface winds of a hurricane rotate which direction in the northern hemisphere? Clockwise or counterclockwise? Counterclockwise. Good job! Perfect! Okay, and now here's a trick question to follow up with that. Oh. Upper level winds of a hurricane rotate which direction in the northern hemisphere? Clockwise or counterclockwise? Well, since the other one is clockwise, counterclockwise, then this one's gotta be clockwise. <laughs> she used logic, but yep, yeah, you're right. The upper levels rotate clockwise. Clockwise goes like this. This way. No. Oh, never mind, never mind, never mind. I okay. can't even get my counterclockwise until I'm, I can't even say it! <laughs> Alright, let's do one more question with hurricanes. And this one says the strongest winds in a hurricane are found where? Are they at the eye, the eye wall, or the rain bands? Of course, eye wall. Good job, eye wall. Now we're going to move on to questions from the second test I took from Intro to Meteorology. So we're getting a little bit harder here. Are you ready? The Earth is closest to the sun in which month? July, March, January, or September? July? Nope, it's not July. March? Nope. January. January. The Earth is closest to the sun in January. When it is summer in the Northern Hemisphere, like it is right now, which season is it in the Southern Hemisphere? Winter. Winter! Good job! You're because, doing great! Because if it's summer in this one, then it's gotta be winter in the other one. Good job. Exactly right. I know, because I'm smart. Lines connecting points of equal temperature are called what? Isobars or isotherms? Forgive me if I'm wrong. I believe these are the isobars. Isobars? Oh, they're isotherms. <laughs> now we'll move on to some tornado and lightning questions. Woo. You did pretty good so far. Of course. I'm smart. And I didn't even go to college yet. 
and she's humble. Which of the following states in the United States receives the most lightning strikes on average every year? Texas, Florida, Oklahoma, or New Mexico? Texas? Not Texas. Florida. Good job, it's Florida. All right, this one's about tornadoes. Which state is not in Tornado Alley? Kansas, Oklahoma, Nebraska, Texas, or Florida? It's obviously not Oklahoma. <laughs> Very true. Florida. Florida, good job. Thank you, thank you. Where is the safest place to be in a tornado? The basement, an interior closet or bathroom, or the hallway? Not a hallway. Not a hallway. Not a bathroom. Not a bathroom if you have a basement, so what must be the answer? The basement. The basement. As long as you stay away from any windows. Yep, assuming that there's no windows. The official tornado season in the United States is from which month to which month? March to April? Not quite, you're close though. It's March to June. Ah! A funnel cloud is composed primarily of A, water droplets, or B, dirt. Water droplets? Good job! Clouds are made out of water. Very good. <laughs> On average, how many tornadoes hit the United States every year? 20. 20 tornadoes? A little bit more than 20. 30. A little bit more than 30. 40. 1201. Dang! <laughs> How the heck do the clouds do that? <laughs> Most tornadoes in the United States rotate clockwise or counterclockwise. You can't see her hand, but she's down here going. I think they go clockwise. Nope, the majority of them go counterclockwise, just like hurricanes. Some of them go clockwise too. Some of them do go clockwise. But most of them. Most so therefore of them. I am right and I am wrong. I did the math! The vertical wind inside a tornado goes upwards or downwards. Downward for the tornado to go down. Mm, nope, assuming the tornado's already on the ground, what does it do? Does it suck stuff up or does oh, it push it stuff goes out? Up. Goes up. All right, I think it's time that we move on to the advanced meteorology questions. <laughs> now I will start by saying that these questions are from a class called Physical Meteorology, which I took my senior year in college. Um, and I probably can't answer half of these myself without looking at the answer. <laughs> so we're gonna see what kind of guesses she had. Okay, we're gonna start off with define diffraction. What does diffraction mean? Low pressure system? Nope, doesn't mean low pressure system. Diffraction is the bending of light around an object. They can't go around objects though. Light can bend around objects. It's called diffraction. Moving on, what do you think diamond dust is? Little minerals? Little minerals? Not quite. Diamond dust is spontaneous ice crystal formation with no clouds. So it's ice crystals that make themselves without clouds. She's I'm boring her. Here we go. What are crepuscular rays? Crepuscular what? Crepuscular rays. Lightning? Nope, not lightning. Any other guesses? It has to do with light. Bending? Nope, a crepuscular ray is a sunbeam. You know when you look at the clouds and you see like those sunbeams shooting out the tops of them? Those are called crepuscular rays. Are you ready for a hard one? Bring it! If the sun's temperature were to cool down, what color would the sky be instead of blue? Gray? Not gray. Light, 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 light. Nope. It's a different color all together. You've got all the colors of the rainbow. Violet. You think it's violet? <laughs> no, you went the no, wrong no, way. No, 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 no. Yeah, if the sun's temperature were to cool down, the sky would be red instead of blue. On the other hand, if the sun were to warm up, what color would the sky be? Orange? Nope. Blue. Nope, it's already blue. Uh, violet. Violet, yeah. If the sun warms up, it starts getting darker blue and, and violet. My mind is blue! <laughs> 
All right, so there was my nine-year-old sister, Kara, taking some atmospheric science tests. How well do you think you did? I think I got an A plus. An A plus? A plus. You, you definitely got an A plus. High five, great job. How well did you guys do on this test? Were you keeping track? Did you know the answers to any of them? I know some of them were pretty crazy, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, some of them were. Mineral dust not even being made of. Diamond dust? Diamond dust not even being made of. Dust? <laughs> if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe down below and click that little bell icon so you always Ding. get notified. So you always get notified every time we upload a video. Where else can they find more of our weather adventures? They can find it on Instagram and Facebook. Until next time, I'm Kayla. And I'm Kara. Thanks for watching. And have a happy test taking. I can't get anything done around here.